Red FM. OK, time now for a 1,000 euro cash giveaway. Three contestants, six questions each. What's interesting about this is that the answers make up the word Easter. But we're against the clock, guys. We've got 30 seconds per contestant. First up is Alan. Alan, good morning. Hi, hi Neil, how you doing? I'm very well, where are you calling from? I'm from Wilton here. Okay, any idea what you do with a thousand euro cash, my friend? Uh, holiday might be nice. Wouldn't it be lovely? Well, let's see if we can get you on your way with a thousand euro. Now, you're up against the clock, you can't pass, I need answers. If you say I don't know, I'm just going to move on to the next question, okay? Okay, cool. And the word, if you get them all right, will make up the word Easter. You ready to roll? Yeah, ready to rock. Clock starts now. What is the E, an animal with a trunk? Elephant. What A is the drummer in the Muppets? Uh, Alfonso. No. What S is the day after Friday? Saturday. What T is a famous bicycle race? Tour de France. What E is the capital of Scotland? Oh, oh Glasgow. No, oh, E. What R word are Cork people known as? The Rebels. Okay, my friend, you did it within time. Where did you get Alphonsus from? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know, so I had to make a the guess. A in the drummer of the Muppets is Animal. Okay. And okay. E, as in Scotland, is Edinburgh. Yes, yeah, not going to be Glasgow when it's an E. Obviously. Oh, no, that's four. But hang in there because perhaps Claire or John won't do as well, so we'll wait and see. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Hold on there. Much obliged to you. Claire, good morning. Morning. Where are you calling from? From Middleton. Okay. How did you do on those questions? I think I got them all right. <laughs> oh, clever <laughs> girl. Any idea what you do with a thousand euro cash? Oh, convert my attic. My small girls are bad looking for their, their new bedroom. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll be lovely. A lovely, lovely oh. attic for the two girls. Their own space. It'll be lovely. Exactly. They need it. Okay. Well, listen. Let's see how we do. Four or better. Okay. Okay. 30 seconds. You're against the clock. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Clock starts. Now, what E does a chicken lay? Egg. What A and Deck present the Saturday night takeaway? And. What S is currently fighting Batman in the cinemas? Um, what's it, man? What T is the show that Jeremy Clarkson hosted? Top Gear. What E is the Queen of England? Elizabeth. What R is the famous Cork footballing son? Well, no, no, no. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. No. <laughs> I got to take the first answer. Uh, unfortunately, I have to take your first answer. And I got it right. It is Roy Keane, isn't it? Yeah, but you said Ronan O'Gara. But I meant Roy Keane. You see, that's the way this works. I can only take your first answer. You may have meant to say Roy Keane, but you said Ronan O'Gara. Now, they both, may both start with an R, but I've got to take the first answer. Okay. Okay? okay? You all right with that? Yeah, just, yeah it's disappointing, but yeah. Hang yeah, on, okay. just wait a second. You haven't lost anything yet. You've beaten Alan. He's gone. So you've got five out of six to make up the word Easter, okay? Okay. So it's good. down to whether or not John can do five or better. All right. Okay. okay, so don't fret just yet. Hold on, then we'll see how we get on. John, good morning. Morning, how are you today? Oh, John O'Donovan. That's me, I said it have a go. And come here to me. You're as entitled as the next fella to have a go. We're, we're yeah. usually talking about protest matters and what have you, so this is a bit of light-hearted banter. A thousand euro, regular contributor to the show, so it's nice to have you again. What would, you do, what would you do with the money, John? Well, I haven't had a weekend away on a holiday for quite a while, so I, I, that's possibly what I would do. A thousand euro cash. Okay, how are you on general knowledge? Yeah, pretty good. Okay, well, give it a go. Five or better. If you can get six out of six, you win a thousand euro cash, all right? Right. And your clock, it starts... Hang on a second, let me just pull the clock in here because I want to use the same line. Now I just get up here and away we go so I can use it this way. You ready? Clock yep. starts now. What E is a premiership team known as the Toffees? Oh, jeez, I don't really follow the premiership, no, but I think, I think it's Everton. Yeah, watch your time now. What A released the album 25? Uh, Adele What S produces the Galaxy phone range? Uh, Samsung What T are Buzz and Woody characters in? Oh, Tintin No, 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 think about to infinity and beyond Or Toy Story Yeah, what E is an imaginary line on the Earth's surface? Uh, the equator What R, and I started so I finished What R is Batman's sidekick? Uh, Rodney. No, 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 no. Think about fools and horses. That, that, not fools and horses. Think about, think about birds. Think about, you know. Oh, Robin, Robin. Good man, good man. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Which means, unfortunately, Claire, we gotta let you go. John wins a thousand euro cash. Go with it.
Well done, John. Nice. Well done. Delighted for you. I'm delighted for you, John, because you're on the air regularly. So it's nice to be able to give you something back. A thousand euro cash. Thanks very much. Sorry about that, Claire. But Robin wasn't his first answer either. Uh, well, it, well, it was his first answer. No, he said Rodney. Mm, well, you know, uh, he, he kind of meant... He kind of meant to say Robin. <laughs> but he didn't. Well, look, that, that, that's it. I mean, we, you know, he got, he got six right. He got him within the time. So he wins a thousand euro. You know, that's, that's the way this works. Well, you, you're okay, after giving the commitment. Know. No, Neil Strife is when I have the total. I know. I mean, good, like, you know, it's fine. I mean, I'll honor the commitment. It's a thousand euro. You win. Unfortunately, Claire, you don't win. Um, so there isn't going to be a thousand euro to go towards the, uh, the attic conversion. But thanks all the same. All right. Okay, um, okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Take care, Claire and Middleton, and all belong to you. John, congratulations. Delighted for you. Check us in the pro- post, all right? Thanks very much. Much obliged. Cheers. Well done. A thousand euro cash. Excellente. Something great to start the weekend. Back after these. Another happy song for you for the week that's in it with Van Morrison's Bright, right, side, moment, bright side of the Road. You all right? Okay, okay. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, you're after I'll creating a bit of a storm here. I didn't hear the whole thing, but... The whole what? Which thing? Someone was saying that you were a bit unfair. I I was on the phone for a bit of it, but... In the competition? For the competition, yeah, yeah. Okay. They were saying that you, say the girl was robbed or something. The phone lines are hopping here, but... I didn't rob anybody. She, got, she, answer, she said Ronan O'Gara. Right. And the answer is Roy Keane. I mean, right. it's like, you gotta get, you, you're always telling me, hmm. to take I the know, first I know, answer. I'll say to, yeah. Yeah, I know, but I supposedly, as I said, I didn't hear it, but supposedly you gave Thank John you. a clue or something on oh. Rodney, John O'Donovan. Oh, he just said something <laughs> stupid about fools and horses. That was well, all that was. Don't shoot the messenger. Look, there's a call. <laughs> Look, Darren, David, Charlie, Mary, they're all waiting there. Darren. Neil, how are you? Good, and you? I'm good, I'm good. Neil, I think that it was unfair on that girl there. Well, she said Roy Keane. She said Ronan O'Gara. And it, fair enough, yeah. so you gave her five and that's I understand that that's fine that's no problem so she but doesn't win I can't I mean I can't give a thousand euro away to somebody who gave a wrong answer like that okay that's fine I understand that so give her five that's I, I, I no problem with that but then John said Tintin and you prompted him and he said Toy Story so that brings him back to five I didn't prompt him I just said to so infinity no, and beyond Neil, so, Neil if you're being fair to everybody here now you said you have to take the first and no, that wasn't. No, no, sorry, Tintin. no, Darren, sorry, no. I have to let you go. I didn't. Uh, I didn't hint. I didn't hint. I just said to infinity and beyond. David, good morning. Good morning. I I have the same question. They, he actually got two wrong. He said Tintin, and he said Rodney, which is his first two answers. And he said Robin. He said Rodney, and then you. I know that he was he was making a reference to Only Fools and Horses. That wasn't the question. If I'd asked him a question about Only Fools and Horses, uh, and he gave a wrong answer, that'd be fine. But, but, it's, the qu- but it's still his first answer, right? And no, then okay, I have to. You're right about first answers. Unfortunately, she gave the wrong first answer, so therefore I can't well, give like, her. I'll be honest with you. Know the, the the second question on that chapter was on the last day. Every question he got, my seven-year-old would have answered them, and the other ones were a lot harder. Ah, well, I don't pick the questions, and that's for another day. I, know, I don't, I don't you know, write I the questions. No, I, you know, I, I appreciate. No, I, 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 I don't pick the questions. I have to move on. I don't pick the questions. I only ask him. Charlie, good morning. I know you. Listen, best to look to John for winning the toes. I know, but in fairness, that poor girl was devastated. Unfortunately, John said Rodney, Batman and Rodney. It's not. It's Batman and Robin. No, he didn't Batman say. He didn't say Batman and Rodney. He didn't say Batman. No, he didn't say Batman and. What are? What are? And he said. No, 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 no. Listen, the people. No need. Get back into it. Not going to review it. No, Emer, I'm not going to review this. Okay, well, she she said. No, lads, you can call all you want now on this, right? I don't mind. You can call away mad for the next hour or call all week. She said. Ronan O'Gara right Mm -hmm. the answer is Roy Keane okay okay well look you have to be fair I didn't hear it I didn't hear John so I'm going to ask KC to review it no you can't no okay well I have six phone lines ringing here they're all hopping I don't care how many are ringing Gillian, Charlie, David all on waiting Gillian hi Neil help me out here Um, Neil the fourth question he actually answered Tintin first and then he said Toy Story. Ah, yeah, but like, hint. I mean, I didn't give him a hint. He, he, no, I, he I, I, all I said was to, the first, all I said was to infinity and beyond. Yeah, well, he said Tintin first. What's Tintin? I never heard of that. Is that a biscuit or a, do you eat it or what is it? No, it's actually a children's movie. As but well. I, but I didn't know that. 
No, well, look. Tintin first. No, no. I don't know anything about a Tintin. I don't know. Got the sixth question wrong as well, which he said Rodney, and sure, then sir. he said Robin. No, no, no. The, the, the rule is: the rule is, if you give the wrong Red name Red Red or the wrong answer first, Sorry, I cannot give the question. I'm going to have to move on. Uh, I'll come back after eleven. But the rules are the rules. Uh, well, first okay. answer. Do you want to come in here and take some of these abusive calls? So. Um, okay, well, look, I'm I am going to get KC to review the audio. No, don't, here. don't. It's done. He, John Red O'Donovan FM won a thousand euro okay. cash. Red FM, one moment. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to move on now. Yeah. We'll move on. Come back after 11. The Neil Prenderville Show. The Neil Prenderville Show. Weekdays from 9 a.m. 104 to 106. All right, uh, quite an amount of calls and texts then, um, and I see a lot of action there. So you've decided to take it upon yourself to uh, get an outside opinion. Well, I have, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've Mary and Anthony, Bill on the phones there. The phone lines are absolutely hopping. Everyone, bar none, is agreeing with me and thinks that KC needs to be brought in and just to review it. So. Mar- Marion, is, Marion, good morning. Good morning, Neil. I'm going to take short calls, so if you have a point okay. to make, fair enough. Okay, let me say, number one, you did say Sorry, that the first right, answer was the answer please. you had to take, okay? Yeah, the first answer was Roy she Keane, and she said... Was, yeah, and that, okay, she got five. I agree with that. She got five. Yeah, he got six. No, this third man that came on, right? John O'Donovan. You know John O'Donovan. He's a regular contributor here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're re- right. Yeah. First of all, he got, he said, Tintin. When is should have been Toy Story? No, I don't know. Forgive, forgive me now. I haven't a clue what Tintin is about. I never heard of Tintin in my life. I thought he just Tintin said so. Tintin is, is a, a cartoon character going back in the 50s. Well, I didn't know that, so forget about that anyway. Okay. Then he said Rodney. And then you said to him, think of a bird. Rodney was his first answer. Tintin was his first answer. No, but Tintin, I know nothing about Tintin. For me, Tintin could be a box of chocolates. I have no clue what he was yeah, on about with that. Tintin could have been a, 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 a wind. So the she only, she, she said, no, I have to keep moving on here. I appreciate that. She said, she said, uh, Ronan O'Gara, the answer was Roy Keane. Um, Anthony. I mean, how's it going? I'm grand. I'm getting a bit of grief, but anyway, what the hell? What can I you know, do? I know, I know, but Neil. And I you know, like I think it's a bit justified. Like, all right, that woman definitely got the last question wrong, that's fair enough. And she accepted it in fairness. But like that man got two questions wrong live right now he did say Tintin, now you're claiming you don't know what I didn't know what Tintin is. If I had known that Tintin was a cartoon or a movie or something it'd be different, but I didn't know anything about that. But I'm not reviewing it now, but I appreciate what you're saying. Thank you. Gary, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Very good. I think Neil, I think because of who John O'Donovan is, he's a regular listener. You're, that's why you're you're going with him. I mean, to be fair to that lady, she did get wrong. Why couldn't she have referenced Ron? Look at the way you're saying he referenced Rodney. Because right? I've been told, I've been told that I have to take. Uh, let, let me get. To, yeah, but the, I have to take the first sense of whether Tintin was a program or a biscuit, as you say. Well, I mean, at least I knew. At le- well, I I had heard of Ro- Ronan O'Gara and I had heard of yeah. Roy Keane, so I knew that. But in the case of Tintin, I didn't know what he meant. I mean, that was completely it's still, it's still a notion. But it's, it's not. It's not but it's not. I don't regard no, that as being Rodney. Rodney, you see these four cents. You know what Rodney is about. No, I mean and Tintin you, for me you, you is irrelevant because I, I didn't. If I had known, it would have been different. You know anyway. you're wrong, and that's why you won't review. The no, I mean, and it's wrong of you to suggest just because I know John O'Donovan that I want to give him a thousand euro. That's not fair. I'm. I'm actually quite. I'm actually quite hurt. I'm actually quite hurt that you would suggest that. Ah, uh, but you need no unfairness. You like you're hurting that lady because you won't repay the, the, the video. Ah, well, I'm not. It's only it's only a competition. Yeah, I mean, she's going to be. 100%. She'll be fine. She, she she'll get the percent. money. She'll get the money somewhere else to build the attic. But listen, let me let me. Th- I'm going to move on. Thanks all. The, no, but hold on, no, Neil. That's not the point. No, you. I'm actually hurt now and upset now that you would think that just because I know a guy, I'd give him a thousand euro. I'm really you, hurt by you, that. You, no, you, no, I'm hurt by that now, and I don't. I wouldn't be tolerating that at all. It's bad enough here with people telling me uh, that they're going to take third party and they're bringing in uh, KC. Uh, is that what you've done? Yeah, I mean, I have a job to do here, and I wish to God I could just we get all on. Do. We I, all do. Neil, let me is, get on with the mm, job then. This is. Ridiculous! It is ridiculous. No, I no, agree. but in the Can sense, we just move on. I have other things I need to do. The whole office heard you prompting your man. This I is didn't ridiculous. Prompt him. I didn't know what Tintin was. What's Tintin? No, but he, he gave a wrong answer, and you came back and you told him the answer. You said to think of. You, you told him you, you guided him in the direction of a robin, a bird. 
That's so irrelevant. Like, she, that, that, that's that's irrelevant. She no said. Way that she no, said Ronan O'Gara. There's no Come way on. that check is going to your man. Sorry, it's, it's wrong. Like it is going. Sure, it's, it's, it's my pro. It's my program. Well, I'm the program director. Well, this is my three hours. Read the small print. So it's up to me to yeah, call but, it. On, so. But I'm responsible for what goes out between nine and midday. I know, but I, I'm responsible for the overall output of the station and and. This is my call. That, that check's not going to her, so sorry. But I can't sorry, go back to a buddy of mine. Are you expecting a buddy to go of back yours, to a buddy exactly. of mine and say... A buddy of yours. Okay, guys, relax. I can't go back to him and say... He's a friend of mine. I well, can hardly say to him. Write him a check yourself. You get well paid. No, I won't. I mean, I've been asked to do a competition. Like, it's not fair, actually, that people would gang up on me like this. I'm really upset that you would gang but up. But you screwed up the last two questions. Listen to the tape. I have the audio outside. Do you want it? No, I don't need to hear it anymore. I know it's, it's right. Listen, it's not, that, that check is not going out. I'm sorry. It's not going out the door. OK, well, look, a decision needs to be made. The phone lines are hopping. We need to move on. i tell you one thing. I'm not doing any more competitions. Is this the way I'm going to be treated? I'm just not going to do them anymore. Do them right. I am doing them right. I don't know who Tintin is. Did you? Do you know who Tintin is? Yeah, 50s animated cartoon How character. am I supposed to? I wasn't even born in the 50, 50s. How would I know that? I don't know. It's, the answers are in front of you. Doc gave you the sheet. She said Ronan O'Gara. She said Ronan O'Gara. She got that wrong. But you so, prompted so him. So he got six and she got five. You no, prompted no, him no, no, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've got more things oh, to do. I'm not talking to you. No, not, right, not on this one, because not when I'm being wronged. Okay. It's very straightforward. She said, Ronan O'Gara, the answer is Roy Keane. Why people can't see that, I don't know. Okay, well, look, we need to make a call because the phones are, Bill is on three, Mike is on four. Look, we need to wrap this. The phone lines are hopping. It, Neil, decision? No, I'm leaving it as it is. John and Donovan, I'd be way too embarrassed to go back to the man. I couldn't do that. I mean, I know the guy. Come on, I know him. Okay. All right, thank you. Back after the break. Lines are now open for the Neil Prendeville Show. 1850-104-106. Yes, indeedy. Our lines are open on 1850-104-106, although they seem to be completely swamped with people regarding that competition. I mean, I feel sorry for Claire, but that's the way it goes. Rules are rules. You have to stick to them, and you just can't deviate. First answer is the answer that I'm going to take. Now, I know there's a lot of text in it, and I'm not... Uh, people are suggesting uh, I'm not, uh, you know, afraid or, you know, unwilling to read out the text. I have no problem with that. I mean, you get the rough with the smooth and you get the criticism and you get the people who uh, don't always agree with me. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm the man behind the microphone and my word is law when it comes to uh, the uh, three hours between nine o'clock and midday. So ain't nobody going to get me to change my mind. Uh, I'm disgusted and ashamed at Neil's behaviour this morning. Uh, Another one here, absolute disgrace. I can't believe you're being so unfair to that girl. Uh, Neil knows he's wrong. Poor girl is in shock. You can hear it in her voice, says Helena. Uh, Another one here, he's cheating that woman out of winning. She should go further about this. Fair is fair. Hint or not a hint. In your mind, it was his first answer like hers and it was wrong. Uh, The only reason that he won't replay the tape is because he knows he was wrong. It is disgraceful. He was biased towards John Donovan, who won because he comes on the show regularly. Uh, He is now twisting what he said to make excuses for his actions in giving the money to the person he chose as the winner, but not the rightful winner. I have no problem reading out the text. Is there anyone out there at all actually agrees with me that your first answer is the only answer I can take? Uh, That was bad. Neil said first answer. He didn't do that with John. He gave him the chance to change his answers not once but twice. That's nonsense. Tintin is not an answer in my book. I have no clue who Tintin is. In actual fact, that girl won five to three if you were f- to follow the principle Neil started with her taking first hand. Like, it's uh, turning into almost like a maths test now. I mean, that's the way it is. It's a thousand euro cash, it's over. And it's a terrible thing, actually, to be trying to celebrate something like this with all of that kind of negativity. But that's the way it goes, I suppose. You take the rough with the smooth. Um, and congratulations to John, a, a thoroughly deserved 1,000 euro. Commiserations to uh, Claire, who came close, but not close enough. Unfortunately, it's proving a very difficult to get any lines out now because are you still you still getting calls on that? Yeah. Well, we're, I'm trying to get you some act, actual calls out but we can't, we've six lines in and we can't actually ring out because they're ringing in um, all complaining but anyway, you've made your decision so um, you might just go to a song or something while we can control the situation okay, here you. if you don't mind. Well, I could just tell people to stop calling. Uh, yeah, if yeah, maybe that might be better actually because we, we can't get a line out when people are ringing in we have six lines and they're all ringing to and what are they, But who's saying that I'm right? Red FM, hello? No one. <laughs> Yes. No one, but look, your decision is final. We leave it there. Okay. We've spent enough time Surely on it. Surely be to God people have sense enough to see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. And well, anyway, and anyway, call. and anyway, like and, and anyway, and anyway, even if I was wrong, yeah. mm-hmm. I couldn't change my mind. 
Okay, well, as I say, we'll beg to differ. It's your call, but you even might just if, Even if I was wrong, it's, it's done, done and you got to move on. Because yeah. it, like, if every time anybody complained about anything, you were changing your mind. So you'd have no credibility. You have to stick to your decision, don't you? Isn't that what they say in life? <laughs> Go with your gut, stick to your decisions. Okay, well, look, it's your call. As I say, we'll beg to differ. I'm not going to agree with you on this one, but you might just give us a song. And if people wouldn't mind, if you could just stop calling uh, to complain, we, we have it now. We just need it's to start getting euro. some lines out. I mean, it's only a thousand euro. Well, <laughs> it might be small to you, it's big to others. Anyway, you might just give us a couple of minutes there to clear the lines. Okay, Thanks, much many. obliged. Uh, back after these. The Neil Prendeville Show. Weekdays from 9 a.m. 104 to 106 Red FM Our phone lines remain open after yeah. midday well, 1850 104 106 Phone lines remain open except we can't get any phone lines out because all of the calls are coming in all six lines we have six lines I mean that's a lot of phone lines uh, but they're completely and utterly blocked up with people who for some reason I imagine there are so, I, I actually imagine that there are people out there who support me on this and actually agree that I'm right but they probably can't get through or if maybe maybe I'm just not being told about them I imagine I'm not being told about them because uh, people are just ganging up on me now really and true I do believe that I really do I was trying to play happy songs for the day that was... I'm going to play a happy song anyway. AHA are back on tour. They're rocking them all over the world. And this is one of the ones that started it way back when. Although the joy's been kind of half taken out of it now. We'll play it anyway. That's AHA and Take On Me, which is apparently what a lot of people want to do, unfortunately. Um... I see a lot of texts coming in there and I will read out some more of them. Not everybody happy, but that's what competitions are. You only have X amount of time and you make a commitment, you make a decision and you can't change your mind. Otherwise, television or radio competitions would never work if everybody was continually changing their mind. I don't know what uh, the whole hoo-ha is about. I didn't know what Tintin was. Tintin, I mean, something from what, the Dark Ages? How am I supposed to know that Tintin was a a cartoon character? You know, you talk about uh, Take On Me, and this is an interesting one. I don't have any phone lines out, so uh, because of phone lines coming in, but people uh, getting involved in this competition, so be it. But uh, So you're going to have to uh, listen to me a bit more. But I'm worried about this. Uh, I just wanted to send an email regarding... Chances are they're going to cry even more. Lines open at 185. Any luck? Any any phone lines out? How are you doing with that? Is it uh, getting any better? No. 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 Yeah, are you on them as well? Pardon me? Yeah, it's just jammed. I can't get a phone line out. We'd be lucky to get off the air at midday. Yeah. We'd be lucky to get off the air at midday at all then. Oh, you're not going to what, sorry? I said we'd be lucky to get to midday at all then. Well, we can't get lines out unless you want to take more calls than this. If you don't, uh, that's fine. But no, not for now anyway. Maybe um, uh, I want to get on and move on because I've got a predetermined time uh, and uh, I've only got something like uh, 21 minutes. I mean, like I see the text coming in here. Uh, I'll read out some more of those if you want uh, and maybe squeeze in one or two more calls. But I'm not going to change my mind. It's just That's just the way it is. It's not going to happen. Back after these... David Bowie's changes at Cork's Red FM with Donald Trump and his eye on a major Cork property portfolio and very annoyed and very upset that he missed out on Photo Island. But I guess he won't miss the next time. Phone line's still completely jammed then, yeah? I see I see. there's a Facebook page starting okay. out called Justice for Claire. Is there? People are looking, yeah, people are looking for uh, people to uh, sign up a Justice for Clare campaign. Okay, well, I know I've gotten a few emails from our CEO, Dermot, so there's a few people have complained through the complaints process. Poor girl has gotten that she didn't win. Clearly she should have. Neil basically admitted he couldn't got, he could not give the money because he knows John O'Donovan. He should be ashamed and he's now lost me as a friend. Well, Paddy says, what an absolute douchebag you are, Neil. Oh, douchebag. Oh, rules are rules. charming, yeah. Shame well, on you. I, I'm very upset that people would call me names. Well, I think people are just asking you to swallow, their, swallow no, your pride, you, you know. But no, anyway. you, no. So another dear, our CEO sent me this other one. The situation on the Neil Prendival show is horrendous, irrespective of the fact that N- N- Niall knows who Tintin is or not. I do not know anything about Tintin. Somebody says here, he didn't take John's first answer as Tintin or Rodney. You can make all the excuses you like on air, but you're wrong. And you cheated Claire out of a thousand euros. Stick to, stick to your own rules. First answer accepted. John got four and Claire got five. Yeah, no, I don't regard... Well, I mean, we've had an hour now of six phone lines in, unable to get a call out. Hundreds and hundreds of email complaints. Fools and horses has nothing to do with Batman. Well, I didn't say that fools and horses has anything to do with Batman. I said that she said Ronan O'Gara and the answer was Roy Keane. Yeah, well, look, I was able to get a call out on line six there. John is on line six and you have a few people in the studio as well, I think. John, good morning. 
Morning, how are you? How are you doing, all right? I'm a bit devastated, actually. You're devastated, why? Well, I don't know, like, I mean, are you beginning to think that people don't like me or something? That'd be good. No, I don't think I they mean, don't like you. I think they don't, they're don't. just not happy with the decision that I made. But I'm sticking by the decision, because uh, I also happen to know you, and I wouldn't, I'd be very embarrassed if I had to take it off you. Well, I appreciate that, like, I mean, I mean I'm absolutely amazed. Like, I mean, there's, I think, uh, as I guess some people know, maybe they might be getting personal, because maybe... I would be known to the media, like, and I think that I'm entitled to enter competition just like anybody else. Yeah, but uh, you're also entitled to take a look at a calendar or take a look at your watch. Well, well, well I was just about to say that, like, you mean, this is a good people of Cork, so, like, you mean, what day is this? Like, it's Fool's Day. <laughs> 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 we have uh, actually Claire and Alan in studio, our two other contestants. So good morning, guys. Hello. Good morning. It's actually Lor- Say it? Lori. Lori. I've got to get the pronunciation right. And Mervyn. So uh, two people from our sales executive staff actually played the parts of... Claire and Alan. Did you really get upset and feel really cheated? Really upset, Neil. Really? Devastated. And do you really need to get money for a child for the kids' attic? I actually really do, if anyone's listening. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> well, John, you know that I'm not giving you the money. <laughs> oh, I understand that perfectly. Like, and can I not officially say that I never have, I never will be entering a competition because if I did buy some flu in it, this is exactly what would happen. <laughs> this is exactly what would happen. Uh, what, was it, what was the question you got so ridiculously wrong, Mervyn? Uh, the capital of Scotland. Uh, Starts with an E. e and I said Glasgow. <laughs> uh, don't hold that against me now. I probably would have got it wrong anyway. Though. Anyway, listen, for the day that's in it. Are you all right? Are we friends? We're friends again. Yeah. <laughs> you'd, you'd want to see my phone was popping going fair play to you for sticking it to him send it back to the hill that's what they were saying <laughs> send it back to the hill John yeah just before I go I think look, uh, well done all round and myself and Claude and you and the team there I think if there was an Oscar we'd have to split it in many ways <laughs> yeah well a six way split Oscar for all of the people that got involved in that thanks to everybody thank you Laurie thank you Mervyn thank you John appreciate it John you're a good thank sport you. And thank you, KC and Colm and Emer and Doc and everybody else that got involved in it. So there you go. Uh, no money, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, well, maybe next time. Uh, are you sure? No, no runner-up prizes, nothing. So good luck. <laughs> All right, listen. And also, I have to say, um, there was an amazing response to that, wasn't there? It was just unreal. I felt so bad. Why? I felt so bad talking to people that were so upset with you. And I was like, I know, he's gone mad. I don't know what's wrong. They were blaming I don't know what's us. wrong with him this morning. Yeah, they were blaming us for not sticking up to oh. you. I actually just got a text here. Sitting here at work in Spain, just got a call from my friend Shell. We're all worked up. We just heard that Casey and Neil are after having a massive <laughs> bust up on air on Red FM. Please, please, what's happening? <laughs> it's all good again. It's all good. We're back. We're friends. <laughs> What I do with all of those texts now? Just uh, let them go? But you know what? I must say, uh, you know, we obviously annoyed an awful lot of people, but we made so many others laugh. I mean, the amount of texts and calls from people who copped on and who said, oh, we know it's an April Fool's, but we've just been laughing all morning long. So it's a great second birthday celebration, <laughs> you know, to have all of Cork laughing. So. Oh, jazz, guys. A song out, I think. Bags last night, free flight. Zero hours. 9 a.m.